Greetings, my name is Hardik Raj and today we will be discussing the problem C and A minus B problem. This is a simple error problem and the prerequisites are remainder. This problem was asked in December cook of 2011. Now let's look at the problem explanation. Now let's look at the problem. In C's restaurant, a waiter is training. Since the waiter isn't good at arithmetic, sometimes he gives guests wrong change. C gives him a simple problem. What is A minus B? Surprisingly, his answer is wrong. To be more precise, his answer has exactly one wrong digit. Can you imagine this? Can you make the same mistake in this problem? We are given two integers A and B. Both of these integers are greater than or equal to one. That is their positive integers. And with B less than A. And we have to output a wrong answer. The answer should be such that the final answer should have exactly one wrong digit from the original answer. Let's understand it through an example. Say we are given two numbers A and B. Okay, let's look at some examples. Say the value of A is 4 and the value of B is 2. They both are greater than 0 and B is less than A. Then our correct answer would have been 4 minus 2 which is equal to 2. But since our waiter is making mistakes, the mistake is there should be exactly one wrong digit. So the incorrect answer or the correct answer according to this question would have been any of these 0, 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Our final answer is differing in exactly one digit. Well, let's take a bigger digit example like the one which is given in the question. So we are given A as 5, 8, 5, 8 and B as 1, 2, 3, 4. The correct answer would have been 8. Let's perform this 5, 8, 5, 8 and 1, 2, 3 and 4. So here it's 4. Here it's 5 minus 3 is 2, 8 minus 2 is 6 and 5 minus 1 is 4. This here would have been our correct answer. This is our correct answer. But we don't want that. We want to give an incorrect answer which differs in exactly one place. Or sorry, in exactly one digit. And right, leading zeros are not allowed. So that is, we cannot make this four as zero. Right, because this is a leading zero, I forgot to mention this. Leading zeros are not allowed. So this four cannot turn to zero, but this four can turn to either one, two, five, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight and nine and then the rest of the digits will not change similarly two and similarly four this is a one option otherwise what we could have done is okay yes ah uh, we could have changed not 4 but let's say we change 6 so this 6 could have changed to either 0 1 2 3 4 5 7 8 and 9 and the rest of the digits would have remained the same that is this would have remained 4 this would have remained 2 and this would have remained 4 similarly for 2 and 4 I think you get the gist. Now let's move on to the solution. Now let's look at the solution. 
for a moment just think if we were given a string of numbers or a string of characters where each character was a digit from 0 to 9 then each of these characters would have had an index and we could have simply chosen any index and altered that index as simple as that but since we are given numbers 1 2 3 4 let's say this is a number and we want to access any one digit either it could be 1 or it could be 2 or it could be 3 or it could be 4 and then we want to change that digit well which digit is the easiest one to access but yes it is right it is the last digit which is the easiest to access this can be accessed simply by using the modulo operator I will give you a few examples of how this module operator works. So let's say that we are given a number A as say 25 and a number B as 3 and we want to find A mod B. Then what we do is we divide A by B and we get the remainder. So A mod B gives nothing but the remainder. Uh, another example could be 49, our A is 49 and our B is 8. So 6 8s are 48. Again, remainder 1. Okay, we are only getting remainder 1. Let's take a better example. Let's say that a value of A is 10 and our value of B is 7. Then A mod B in this case would be what? So simply divide 10 by 7. 7 times 1 is 7 and the remainder is 3. So in this case the remainder is 3. Now how does this help us to access the last digit? Well, we use remainder 10 actually. Let's say our a value is 1 2 3 4 and the value of b is 10 then 1 2 3 4 divided by 10 oh, 1 it's 23 then 2 it's 20 it's 34 and uh, then 3 then the remainder is So, any number modulo 10 gives its last digit. Let me write it somewhere. Any number or more precisely positive number positive number modulo 10 this gives us the last digit of the number some few examples could be like take a as 25 and b as 10 then 25 divided by 10 here is 2 20 and 5 the remainder is 5. Say the value of A was 9. Or 6 and the by and we have B as 10. Then 6 by 10. 0, 0, 6 and the remainder is 6. So now we know how to extract the last digit. Then how are we going to lead to the answer? So it's quite simple actually. If we have a last digit, so what can we change the last digit to? If the last digit is 2, we can change it to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, even 1 and 0. Similarly, if our last digit is 6, we can change it to any 0, 1, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, and 9. So we can change the last digit to anything. And there are multi -way, multiple ways to change the number. I will give a very easy way to change this number and that would be just if the number is less than 9 sorry if the number is less than 9 that is the last digit sorry if the last digit last digit is less than 9 then increment the last digit that is if a number is 1 2 3 4 then make this number as 1 2 3 5 if a number is say 37 make it as 38 if a number is 410 make it as 411 but if a last digit is equal to 9 if a last digit is equal to equal to 9 then in this case uh, make it 0 that is if I'm oh, sorry making it 0 would be a little difficult so instead decrement it by 1 so let's say our number is 1 2 3 9 so we would make it as 1 2 3 8 if our number is 39 we will make it as 38 if our number is 419 we will make it as 418 Yeah, so since we are changing only the last digit, we are getting a correct answer. So now let's look at the The code for this question is pretty simple. Just take the two numbers as input A and B. And here A is greater than B, which is given in the question. So we can simply write it as assert A is greater than B. This will not fail. And the assertion is basically saying that we are so sure that this condition will always be true and if the condition is not true break the program break the program now here yeah, a correct answer would have been a minus b but since the waiter is making a mistake we, we also have to make a mistake for that we were extracting the last digit here we are extracting the last digit using our correct answer that is the difference divided by 10 and we want to find what is the incorrect answer. So if the last digit was 9, we were simply decrementing it. We were simply decrementing the correct answer. So the last digit would be correct answer minus 1. That is if the correct answer was say 1, 2, 3, 9, then our incorrect answer would be 1, 2, 3, 9 minus 1, which is 1, 2, 3, 8. Otherwise, if the last digit is not 9, you are simply incrementing it. That is, let's say our last digit was 1, 2, 3, 0. Then you will simply increment 1, 2, 3, 0 plus 1, which is 1, 2, 3, 1. Or if it was 38, it would become as 39. So we just do correct answer plus 1 and we output the incorrect answer which is supposedly the correct answer for this question. Let's try submitting this. Okay, it takes us. It takes some time. Okay, yeah, and here I have committed out my number of test cases because there were no test cases, and I am simply calling my solve function, which is over here. Okay, so correct answer. It seems my net is down today. So I hope you understood the solution and see you next time. 
that's it for this one. Like the video if you understood the concept. In case of any doubts or queries, please feel free to drop a comment below. Do try and submit your own solution on CodeChef after watching this tutorial. If you are interested in competitive programming and want to learn and master data structures and algorithms, then CodeChef is a one place destination for you. Every week we post CodeChef problem explanations, frequently asked interview problems, conceptual videos on various programming topics, and also conduct live problem solving sessions. To stay notified of our upcoming uploads, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon below. See you next time.